This is Croatia, as it's never been seen before. From above, we'll reveal a land filled with ancient walled cities, stunning coastlines, and mountainous terrain. A place where modern engineering wonders sit side by side with echoes from a long distant past. In this series, we'll take an aerial tour across Europe, seeing its sights from a brand new perspective. Filmed from above over the course of a single year, as the landscape transforms through the changing seasons, we will uncover the culture, history, and engineering that built the great European nations we see today. Croatia sits at the crossroads of Central and Southeast Europe, with Italy to the west and Hungary, Bosnia and Herzegovina and Serbia to the east. It's famed for its long Adriatic coastline, dotted with around a thousand islands that bask in a Mediterranean climate. For centuries, Mighty empires and conflicts have left their mark on Croatia's landscape. The great amphitheater at Pula and Diocletian's palace in Split are reminders of almost 600 years of Roman rule. Later in the Middle Ages, powerful walled cities rose up as the Ottoman Empire fought for control of these lands. And in the 19th century, the cities of Osijek and Zagreb flourished in the wealthy embrace of the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Today, Croatia is a modern republic with a thriving economy and its historic landscape is a popular destination for tourists from across the world. As the year progresses, the clear blue seas of the Adriatic begin to fill with lavish yachts and visitors flock to the beaches to soak up the warming sun as summer comes to Croatia. Tourism forms a vital part of Croatia's economy. Over 20 million visitors flock to Croatia in an average year. They head to the capital, Zagreb, for its history culture and architecture. And to Dubrovnik in Croatia's sun-drenched south. They come to walk the 25 meter high defensive walls that encircle the city. And explore the forts that have provided many a backdrop to Hollywood tales of swords and dragons. But for many visitors, a trip here involves an unexpected border check. For much of the 20th century, Croatia was part of the former state of Yugoslavia. The collapse of Yugoslavia in the 1990s initially created five new states and a challenge on Croatia's southern tip an official break in Croatia's border. The break allowed Bosnia and Herzegovina access to the sea, but cut off Dubrovnik from the rest of the country. For years, tourists have faced a trip through two border crossings to visit this storied city. But a record-breaking project is set to change that. This is the 526 million euro Pelješac Bridge. When complete, it will allow travelers to move between Croatia's two halves unimpeded. Six towers will rise from the waters, soaring 100 meters into the sky. 165 steel sections of deck will span the 2.2-kilometer expanse of water. 
and over a thousand tons of steel cables will support them high above the strait. Today, our aerial cameras will capture a crucial milestone in this mammoth engineering project. The installation of the first bridge deck section entirely above water, bridging the gap between these two towers. Overseeing today's installation is steel supervisor Zoran Trogovic. This is a huge milestone for this project, as with this segment, we will complete the whole section of first 200 meters of the bridge. This bridge section weighs in at 587 tons. So it takes a very special type of to lift it. This is the CMT-1, one of Europe's most powerful floating cranes. This colossal machine is capable of lifting 1,000 tons, 50 times more than an average tower crane. The segment itself is weight is around 600 tons, plus auxiliary equipment, so total weight of the load is around 850 tons. This is a big challenge to lift it with the floating crane successfully in one day. The team start by attaching the crane to the bridge deck. Everyone is on high alert. The section weighs as much as three jumbo jets and a sudden gust could cause it to swing dangerously in the air. It's very important that we finish the lifting within one day. Weather like this is very rare. We need to use that weather and to lift it today. From our exclusive aerial view, we can see how the crane carefully positions the section of deck above the void, before slowly lowering it into place. A team of workers on the bridge must now spring into action, using handheld winches and brute force to maneuver the deck into position with millimeter accuracy. After three hours of backbreaking work, the crew secure the section, bringing this build one step closer to connecting Croatia's two halves. When it will be finished, I'll be honored to, to bring my family, my two daughters and a son and wife, to show them where I spent the last three years. Once complete, the Pelješac Bridge will shuttle more than four and a half million cars a year between Croatia's south and the rest of the country. Croatia has been in the crosshairs of history for centuries. 